Years from now, NASCAR fans may not remember the number, but there's no doubt they'll remember the name of the driver who had the most wins in the 2021 Cup Series season. Kyle Larson won 10 times, plus the All-Star race. His season was even more memorable because he captured the championship. Most fans would never guess it was Larson's Hendrick Motorsports teammate Alex Bowman, who earned the first multi-win season of his career and won four times, tying him with Martin Truex Jr. for the second most wins. Of Bowman's victories, the last one at Martinsville was most memorable, not only because of what happened late in the race, but what took place immediately after. Denny Hamlin was the dominant car and led for most of the final 100 laps on his home track, with Bowman following close behind. With seven laps to go and battling hard in side-by-side -side action, Bowman made contact with Hamlin's left rear and sent the number 11 Toyota sliding backwards up into the outside wall, ending any chances at victory. The hometown crowd surprisingly erupted into cheers. On the final restart in overtime, Bowman held off Kyle Busch to win the race. Hamlin finished 24th, but he wasn't finished at all. Unhappy with the late incident, the three-time Daytona 500 winner confronted Bowman at the start-finish line and interrupted his celebratory burnout before it ever got started. After a few tense moments, including fans raining down booze and beer cans from the stands, Hamlin gave Bowman the double bird salute and returned to the garage. The angry driver then provided one of the more memorable interviews of the year when he dropped an F-bomb on live television and uttered another four-letter word, hack. Take on the contact down there. He's just a hack, He's just an absolute hack. Um, he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. And it's just terrible, and he sees one opportunity and he, he takes it. Fast forward to this past weekend in Las Vegas and Kyle Busch's home track. Things couldn't have started any worse for the 36-year-old as he suffered a flat rear left tire and crashed less than 10 minutes into the practice session. He was forced to go to a backup. When the green flag dropped on the race, Busch proved that his car was a backup in name only as he quickly made his way through the field inside the top 20. Unfortunately, transmission issues and a spin trying to avoid a wreck in the first stage set his progress back. But the two-time Cup Series champion remained undeterred. He finished ninth in Stage 1 and had moved up to fifth by the end of Stage 2. In the final stage, as the race's final laps ticked away, Bush appeared destined for his second-ever Cup win at Vegas, leading 40 of the final 45 laps. However, that all changed with three laps to go, when Eric Jones got loose and slammed hard into the wall, bringing out a caution. In the final pit stop before overtime, the HMS cars of Bowman, Larson, and William Byron all took two tires. Bush went with four. It turned out to be the difference. In the green-white checkered restart, Bowman beat Larson in a drag race to the checkered flag. Bush finished fourth, with the surprise of the day, Ross Chastain finishing just in front of him. Seconds after crossing the finish line, Bush, who Danica Patrick noted multiple times during the broadcast, had displayed a calm demeanor throughout the race, was anything but that, and exploded in a profanity-laced tirade unexpectedly directed at the race winner. Bush's angry outburst was understandable, considering how much he had overcome just to get into position to win for just the second time on his home track. But his target was undeniably misguided. Bowman's team won the race on a strategy call, all a part of racing. Ironically, Bush's last cup win in 2021 came at Pocono on, you guessed it, a strategy call on fuel. Adding salt to the wound, Bowman's win moved him into sole possession behind Larson for the second most wins over the last two seasons at five. 
Bush and Hamlin have a combined four wins in that same period. Speaking of Hamlin, the author of the notorious hat comment finished 32nd in Vegas after he forgot he was using a sequential shifter, made a wrong shift, and destroyed his transmission. With the final result at Vegas, Alex Bowman locked himself into the playoffs. Kyle Busch was left to wonder what might have been, and Denny Hamlin can't wait for the next race in Phoenix to move on from what is undoubtedly one of the most embarrassing mistakes in his NASCAR career. And his hat comment just makes it that much worse.